Now to the war in Ukraine. A court is holding the first war crimes trial since Russia invaded that country. A 21-year-old Russian soldier is accused of killing an unarmed elderly Ukrainian man while he was riding his bike. Now prosecutors allege Vadim Shishimarin was ordered to kill the man. He did so so he wouldn't tell Ukrainian forces where Russian soldiers were headed. If convicted, he could face up to life in prison. Meanwhile, a top U.S. military leader spoke with his Russian counterpart part today for the first time since Russia invaded Ukraine. CBS 4's Skylar Henry has more from the White House. A humanitarian center in the Kharkiv region of Ukraine lay in ruins following an overnight strike. Officials say the center contained supplies for civilians in the area. Elsewhere, Ukrainian officials say their forces stopped Russian troops from crossing a river in the Donbas region. They say this footage shows a damaged bridge and several destroyed Russian military vehicles. They're putting up a very stiff resistance in the Donbas and in the south. Um, um, they have prevented the Russians from achieving virtually any of their strategic objectives thus far in the, in the war. With Ukraine's defense minister acknowledging there is no swift end to the war in sight, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin spoke with his Russian counterpart today for the first time since the invasion. The secretary urged an end to the conflict in Ukraine and he emphasized the importance of maintaining communication. Also Friday, Ukrainian authorities began the first war crimes trial of the conflict. A 21-year-old captured Russian soldier is accused of fatally shooting an unarmed civilian in the early days of the war. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington.